Hi guys! I know it's been a while. Um, I filmed a beauty empties video, but a ton of you, like I was even getting messages about it, <laughs> a ton of you guys asked me for a life update video, so here y'all go. I guess uh, the first thing, <laughs> clearly y'all can see, I chopped my hair off. Um, I still have a little bit of blonde left over. You can see it more when um, it's in the light. Like, I notice it a lot more when I'm, like, outside. It looks a lot more sun-kissed still. Um, as you guys know, I was blonde, but I gotta be real, y'all. Like, I totally can't even upkeep it. <laughs> like, I do the purple shampoo thing, like, once a week. I do, like, blue conditioner, like, once or twice a week. I try to do a hair mask. Like, I, I love the way blonde looks on me, but the upkeep, mm, I think y'all know by now that I'm pretty low maintenance when it comes to her. And um, even with uh, this new promotion, which is another life update, uh, with this new promotion, I am trying to, I guess, get more in tune with myself. And um, I feel like for the longest time that you guys have known me, um, and even the longest time that anyone has known me, I've had dark hair. It's been my thing. Like, I've had the most jet black hair that I know of. You can even see the roots growing back all the time. Like it keeps wanting to come back. Um, and it's already like faded all the way down to here. I've had it dyed all the way up to here like about a year ago. Um, but I'm just not very good at it y'all. Like I don't know. I know what to do. I just never do it. <laughs> I would say it's probably the laziest part in my routine. Um, but other than that, um, I know what to do. I know like products to use. I know what products are amazing. Um, did you guys know I used to work at Sephora? So I have a ton of hair care gratis and um, I'm still kind of going through it. So and the salon that I go to that does my hair is a Bumble and Bumble salon. It's a friend of mine, a really good friend of mine. Um, he has his own salon and he takes care of my hair. So basically I got a lob, if you will. Um, you guys can see it sort of has like an A-line situation going on. It's still very blunt bluntly cut and I would love more texture in it but I find that when I curl it a lot of the texture comes out um, but in any case when I get my trim um, because I have I still have a sum like split dead ends here and there um, I plan on retexturizing it a little bit more getting a little snippy snip snip so I can grow a little bit faster because I do want it to be a little bit longer just a notch longer um, I mean, it's nothing weave can't fix, but you know, <laughs> the short hair life is different for me. Like, I wanted a hairstyle where I was forced to to do it. You know, like with my new promotion and everything, um, there is an image that I need to uphold. Um, for those of you who work for the same company I do, I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, I also work in a store that is very, very, um, how do you say, like it's very high in foot traffic. Um, so we have a ton of visitors all the time, ton of corporate people coming in. Um, basically with my new role and everything, um, I just have a new image to uphold. So I literally need to be like on point 100% all day, every day, seven days a week, even when I'm not working. <laughs> um, with that being said, I obviously needed a hairstyle that I was like forced to do, you know what I mean? Like forced to style, if you will. I feel like I have to style my hair like no excuses now that I have short hair. When I had longer hair, I could just pull it up. I could do a, a lazy hair, you know, hair bun all the time. Like that was like my thing. I can't do buns anymore. <laughs> I kind of miss it. Sock buns were like my thing. Like Sunday bun day was like my shit. Anyways, I am also in this new phase. I know how everybody says like new year, new me, whatever. You know what I mean? But I feel like for me, it's more like getting back to the old me if that makes any sense like old me and new me put together like there's parts of me that I have suppressed and parts of me that I have kind of kept under the covers you know what I'm saying like you guys see a lot of me I would say um my family sees the honest me you know you guys see an honest side for the longest time before I started working for this company um I was very suppressed for a while um and when I say suppressed I mean like I was always told what not to do how I need to look um how I need to act and number one nobody likes to be told that number two I feel like it depends also who is telling you that and where that's coming from <laughs> and number three I feel like it also depends on the role that you play where you're at work um, recently I just helped a girl kind of like remodel herself because she has a new position at work and I feel like yeah you kind of grow into yourself when you're in a new position that's like bringing all these new wonderful things to you and your life and all that and I feel like 
I feel like this company has helped me grow into myself. Um, so with that being said, I also got a promotion. <laughs> I think it's obvious where I work. I'm not even going to like get into details. But um, I, for those of you who are very familiar with where I work and who I work with and also have seen me at work, um, you guys know I work, I used to work for the Berkeley location. I was there for almost a year. Um, and recently I transferred to the Pro Store in San Francisco, um, which is also our flagship store of Northern California, as well as um, uh, the only Pro Store in Northern California. Um, it was, for me, it was very surreal the way the whole process happened. Um, so just to kind of give you guys, sorry, I'm like a mess right now. Um, backtracking to like around November, I should say, like around my birthday, I was given the opportunity to travel to LA for um, a very special event that we had going on for holiday. So I did like what we call an industry tour. Um, I'm part of what Matt calls Impact Team, which is basically the best of the best artists of the region. And we have different ones. So my region is Northwest. So there's also Pac West, which is down South. That is my phone. Sorry about it. Um, so I'm part of the Northwest region. And basically Impact Team is full of artists that um, are very passionate, uh, very passionate about artistry and about the brand. And um, anytime you come to like those huge events that you see in the mall, um, like if you, ever, if you ever see Mac like set up when we have like a big fat all event happening, a big huge set, music bumping, all that stuff, um, that's what we call an industry event. And it's usually honoring a seasonal collection that came out or um, just honoring the season in general or the start of a season. So in November, it was the start of holiday. Um, and I did what I call, what you call, what you call, sorry. I did what Matt calls <laughs> an industry tour. Um, so I had the opportunity to fly down there. It was amazing. It was my 31st birthday and I hadn't been to Disneyland since I was like two years old. So I was like, hell yeah. I was so excited. In the midst of that, I was interviewing for my new position. Um, and for those of you guys who didn't know, I was only a part-timer at Berkeley. I was doing a little bit of YouTube. I was taking care of my mom. Um, I had a lot happen. My mom got sick um, late springtime, early summer, and she was in recuperation mode until about... I want to say like about November yeah like October November ish um, she's a lot better conditioned now for those of you guys who are curious um, so she's in good spirits now um, she is in much better condition than she was before so thank you so much for those of you guys who have reached out to me and have been there for me through all of that because that was one of the hardest times of my life um, for those of you guys who don't know my dad passed away about two years ago um, I'll link a video down below explaining that because um, I know a lot of you guys have asked um, and after that within the next year after that it was just so rough like the past two years have been so so rough so I've been very focused on my career as an artist as a Mac artist specifically and these opportunities have been amazing for me you know um, I plan on doing a video on my Mac career because a ton of you guys have asked I think it was like my most highly requested video right now over my makeup collection <laughs> um, so with that said I've been super busy at work um, during that time I was like working hell hours, I was traveling all the time, I went to LA twice in a row, two weekends in a row. Um, when my industry tour was over, that's when I transferred over to the pro store. Um, so now I'm a full-time artist. That's amazing for me. Um, I have a lot of new roles and I have a lot of new tasks that need to be done and not a lot of responsibilities. Um, so I've been super, super and when I say super, I mean super busy with work. Like, even earlier today, I'm not even on the clock and I'm working. Um, I'm a workaholic for anyone who really knows me. I work all the time. I work around the clock, even when I'm... I, it took me a long time to learn how to clock out when you actually clock out. Um, when I had a stressful job a couple years ago, I had to learn how to, like, clock out. You know what I mean? Like, when you clock out, you clock out. You know what I mean? Like, you don't stick around... Um, my hair's a mess. Um, like, you don't stick around for anything after that. You don't talk about work when you're off, you know. Your off day is your off day. Um, for me, I'm constantly thinking about work, especially if I have a ton of responsibilities and a ton of things to do. And if I ever plan on being in management one day or in training one day, then obviously, you know, my mind's always got to be working. Um, I have to be very passionate about what I do, and I am. So that's part of the reason why I work so hard and why I have been very focused in my career <laughs> because, um, I really care about my job. I love my job. It's been a long time since I've been able to say that. And for the past year and a couple of months that I've been with this company, I swear to God, like I've never been so happy with a job in my life. Um, that being said, 
Um, so that's that. I've been super, super sorry. My phone is going bananas right now next to me. Um, <clears throat> this is what I mean, working and such. Um, so those are the main things is I got promoted and I've been traveling for work. Um, so I've been super, super busy and I have to be honest, you know, when you're talking about makeup like all day, you're talking about it, you're thinking about it, you're in this industry, like the last thing you want to do is do a video. You know what I mean? Like you're like, oh my God, I've like spent eight plus hours thinking and talking about makeup. I just want to go home and lie in my bed, have a good dinner and pass out. <laughs> so lots been going on in that sense. Um, I've also been in the middle of rebranding my channel. So part of the reason I haven't posted a whole ton of videos is because I am in the middle of rebranding the content that I post. Um, of course, I would say my number one priority is to obviously cater to what you guys are looking for and wanting to see. So by all means, any requests that you guys have, please, please let me know. Um, so far, a lot of you guys like vlogging videos, which I find very interesting. Um, so I've been trying to vlog a little bit more just to give you guys some content. Um, I feel like I don't really have that much of an interesting life, but you know, <laughs> a lot of ton, of ton of you asked me to vlog, so there you go. Um, you guys wanted a life update video, so here you go. Um, I will be doing more tutorials, absolutely, so a lot of you guys have been mentioning to me that you miss them. Um, I plan on doing a makeup collection video as well because my studio is finally coming together downstairs and my collection is finally like in order. <laughs> like it's taken a long, I'm still like, n like, messing with it here and there and I think if I did a video now it would still be a good one um I just I'm trying I'm trying to get more room like I literally have no room like I'm not even kidding with you like I have two Alex drawers I have a desk that has two drawers and I have like a pink toolbox like my setup is ridiculously full and I don't know how I still don't have enough storage <laughs> basically I just have too much shit and this is after I clean hella shit out <laughs> um anyways babbling here um, I know a ton of you guys want like hypes and gripes videos again, so I'm gonna do my best to do those every month. Um, I did upgrade a lot of my equipment a little bit. Um, it's kind of like a long time coming. It takes a lot to invest in something like this, so I hope you guys understand how hard that is. I've been investing in other things, you know, like my car, um, my family, uh, traveling, work, that sort of thing. So a lot of my money has been going to other things. Um, not to say that YouTube wasn't a priority, but I wanted to take a little bit of a break anyway. Um, I feel like I have so much going on, you know, with family and with work that I feel like, not to say that YouTube isn't a priority at the moment, but I want it to be quality stuff that I put out for you guys. You know what I mean? Like I want it to be content that you guys want to see, that you guys are, that you guys want to watch. I don't want to put out just any video. Although some people have told me in person that any video would suffice. <laughs> I've also been told that. So I'm also considering mix matching, you know, like mish mashing my channel somehow and just making it like a hodgepodge of all kinds of different stuff that I do. Um, but in any case, it's just been a thought process for me, so please be patient. <laughs> um, please be patient with me. I am working on that. Um, I don't know if I want to keep my blog. I, I have it. I've had it. Um, I know that keeping a website is important for a makeup artist, so I might rebrand that as well. Before it used to be a hodgepodge of a lot of different things, but now I think I want to change that up and make it something very strict. Um, I just, I gotta pick one, you know what I mean? I'm either gonna post hella videos or blog hella crazy. It's hard to do both with my kind of lifestyle right now. But you let me know what you guys want to see because that's absolutely the, my utmost priority when it comes to my channel is what you guys actually want to see from me. That's special to me because there's so many YouTubers out these days that I'm just like, I don't even know if any video I put up matters. <laughs> but anyway, um, with that said, the holidays were bananas. So this is going through December now. Like, oh my god, like, oh my god. The holidays were crazy. Um, my family and I decided to take a little bit of a break and head up to the snow for a couple of days. So definitely enjoy doing that. And then pass through the new year. Work got bananas again. Um, Super Bowl happened. Now Valentine's Day is happening. I have events happening again. I'm like, oh my god, it's a lot. Um, so in the midst of all that, um, after my industry events um, in November, I had all I had also moved. So as you guys can see, I'm obviously in a new location. I have a new studio that I'm creating downstairs. It's like a studio slash you know, woman cave, if you will. I do share it with Mark. <laughs> Mark is also Mahal. If you guys ever. My phone is going crazy. If you guys ever see on my Instagram or my Snapchat and I say Mahal, that's how it's pronounced, Mahal. Um, it, Mahal, Mahal, whatever. Um, it means love. 
Um, so that's what I call Mark instead of babe, baby. Sometimes I'll say baby or babe, but um, Mahal is what I actually refer to him as. <laughs> um, but his name is Mark, also known as Lyndon. So if you ever hear any of those names, that's Mark. That's the boyfriend. <laughs> I've Me and Mark, no, Lyndon and I have been together for... Ooh, over three years it's like three and a half years now we're coming on our fourth year actually so we've been together for quite a long time I know that I've kept him on private for a long time um, I don't know if I'm ever gonna put him on my on my channel I might who knows um, you might see him in like a cooking video or something <laughs> um, but I him and I moved in together um, so we live not too far from my old place um, with my mom but moving out of my situation with my mom, I would say, was like the hardest thing about it. You know, my mom and I are very close. And for those of you guys who kept up with me in the past, uh, last year, I, I came very close to losing her as well. Um, it was not a very easy process. Um, but towards the end of the year, I guess like losing my dad and then having, you know, familial concerns that I had to deal with. I feel like towards the end of the year I just realized I had to do something for myself and that included my career, it included focusing on me, whatever it may be, a new living situation, whatever it is that I needed, I, I had to have it. Um, I've spent years, and when I say years I mean years, um, my brother and I have spent years um, giving up our personal time for our family and I feel like I needed a chance to really give to myself more. Um, that's something that I, not only just a New Year's resolution, but just something that I promised myself in general. Um, when I started seeing so many happy, like, happy things happening for me and like wonderful, like, successes that were coming, you know, through the year and all these wonderful, like 2015 was like such an amazing year. And it taught me that I need to do more for myself. And when I do, when I do do more for myself, a lot more happens, you know? Like, when I do positive things for myself, more positive things happen. And I'm very aware that that's like the normal circle of life, I guess you could say. But I'm the kind of person that gives more to others than to myself. You know, I, I invest more in other people that I care for and other people that I love versus investing in myself. Um, I would say that's a burden and a curse at the same time. Um, I would say that's a good and bad thing. It's not completely always bad and it's not always good. Um, I feel like a balance in my life was very important at the time and moving out of my mom's place was so hard. Um, for at least a decade when I graduated from high school and everything, I was living on my own for so long. The only reason I moved back was to take care of my mom. Um, she was getting sick at the time, my dad was still around, so I was just around to be with them. Like, I just... I decided I can't stand to lose my family so I, I moved back to be with them and it was also something that Lyndon and I decided on that we just needed for our relationship and it has done so much more good for our relationship than it has done bad like we are in an amazing place right now um, I'm I couldn't literally couldn't be happier with the way our relationship is right now I'm so happy and I'm happy with a lot of things going on in my life <laughs> so with that said, a lot has happened, um, so I moved, not too far from home of course, still in the East Bay, um, not any much closer to work I would say, I still commute, I still take BART, if you guys don't know what that is, it's like our subway system I guess, um, and then I have to drive to the BART station and then take BART and then my job is like right next to BART, which is good, um, so I don't have to do much more than that, but commuting is so time consuming. Let me just say. So that's another thing. Like, I'm, like, up, like, three hours before I gotta get ready for work. Like, if I have to be at work by 3.30, I'm up at, like, 12.30. Or, like, I'm getting ready by 12.30 to, like, make it happen. You know what I mean? So, I just... Uh, so much going on. Oh, my God. Um, I guess that's overall it. <laughs> I mean, I'm not sure what else to say. Um, you know, work has been crazy. I moved. Um, I'm going through a lot of like personal stuff as well, you know, personal growth, if you will. Um, focusing on a lot of myself and uh, my family too. And um, work is really, really important. I would say top five priority <laughs> is that. I'm like literally trying to organize my life. Like uh, so much going on, let me tell you. Um, and it's just hard, you know, to be quite honest, like you got to prioritize at some point. 
see what matters more to you and and like I said not to say that YouTube wasn't a priority at the time but it wasn't on the higher part of it you know what I'm saying it was like on the lower part of my list of priorities unfortunately um I had to focus on other things um and you know my career was really really important to me and I love you guys I miss you guys so much so I want to get back into doing this again because it's been a while and you know it breaks my heart when I meet a subscriber in person and she's like I miss your videos <laughs> and I'm like I miss them too <laughs> like I feel like I'm telling you like being on YouTube is and being a vlogger in general is like it's way more time consuming than you think. Like, I don't blame anybody that has, like, fully, like, fully, fully given herself to YouTube, him or, him or herself, to YouTube, because it literally is a full-time job. And I have a full-time job and a part-time job with my family, <laughs> you know, and even a part-time job with myself. So it's, like, fitting that in with all of that is, like, it's a lot, you know what I mean? I'm doing a Hypes and Gripes video, and then I might do a makeup collection video. Um, someone had asked me hairstyling video, so I might try to do some of that, see what happens. Um, it's hard for me to film hair tutorials. I don't know how some of y'all do it. But like I said, I just need like a filming situation. You know what I mean? Like that's like the hardest part about it is having a filming setup, you know? And I think a lot of you guys have been on my channel long enough to know that I've never really had one. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I think I kind of want to do that. Like I want to, I want to really invest in my YouTube channel and really make something of it, you know? Um, this is something that I started and I don't want to cut it off too quick. I did take a break and I have taken a break before in the past um, because like I said, you know, still trying to decide where I want to be in this YouTube world um, and again trying to decide what I wanted to do in my actual career outside of YouTube. So that being said, thank you guys so much for all your continued support. I love you guys so much. You guys are so supportive, so loving, and I literally cannot thank you guys enough. You guys are like another family to me. <laughs> um, so hopefully I will see you guys soon. I miss you guys. Please take care. Loves and kisses. And I will talk to you guys later.